would get back with Mariah once. Yes, absolutely. You say that, that a lot? Stu It'd be stupid if I wouldn't. If you're someone who's been rooting for Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon to get back together, then you might be in luck. Over the years, Nick has made comments about wanting to be with his ex-wife again. But recently, his actions are speaking louder than his words ever have. And you're not going to believe the kind of things that he's doing to try to win her back. It's already been eight years since Mariah and Nick got divorced. Together, they share their 13-year-old twins, Monroe and Moroccan. So, though they're not a couple anymore, they're still a big part of each other's lives thanks to their kids. And it seems that Nick thinks of Mariah as more than just a mother of his children, and he's not afraid of letting the whole world know that. In December 2023, news came out that Mariah and her boyfriend of seven years had broken up. And since then, Nick has been extra vocal about his feelings for Mariah. In a 2024 interview with E! News, he was asked if he would ever get back with his ex. Without missing a beat, Nick said that he absolutely would, and that he'd be stupid if he didn't. Then he joked by quoting the title of one of Mariah's most famous tracks, we belong together. When he was then asked what was stopping them from reuniting, Nick revealed that Mariah didn't want to be with him. So it looks like he knows that his feelings aren't mutual, and he made that even clearer in his most recent interview with People. He repeated that Mariah didn't want him, and he added that she moved on from his crazy antics. When the topic of co-parenting with Mariah and his five other baby mamas came up, Nick admitted that all the women deserve their credit because dealing with him must be madness. But we don't have to take Nick's word for it that his ex has no interest in rekindling their romance because according to Complex, she's also said it herself. Not long after she first broke up with Brian Tanaka, Nick told E to play Cupid and asked Mariah if she'd ever be open to spinning the block with him. Paparazzi later caught up with Mariah and reportedly told her what Nick had been asking. She told them that Nick was just being silly and then when one paparazzi asked her if she was okay with being single for the rest of her life, she asked, what is he? My last hope? So I don't think that Mariah has any plans to grant Nick's wish for a reunion between them. And it looks like Mariah isn't the only person who is against a reconciliation between her and her ex-husband. The online world has also been pretty outspoken about how getting back together with Nick might not be the best idea. One Reddit user wrote that Mariah's comment about Nick being her last hope was iconic. Another commentator accused her ex of just needing a sugar mama for his child support payments. A third Reddit member said that they were glad that Mariah wasn't dumb enough to go out with Nick again and that he'd always be a clown and a loser. But apparently there are some people in the singer's life who think that Team Mariah and Nick wouldn't be such a terrible thing and have even suggested that she consider it. Because maybe talk is cheap but actions speak louder than words and Nick has supposedly been there for Mariah in her darkest hour. You might have heard about the most recent tragedy in Mariah's life. She lost both her mother and her sister on the exact same day. Mariah allegedly didn't have the smoothest of relationships when it came to either of the women, but at the end of the day, they were her family, so it was devastating news. A source told Life & Style that Mariah had become very close to her mother over the last few years, and she was really able to be there for her at the end of her life. As painful as it was, there was a sense of closure, but things hadn't been anywhere near as peaceful between her and her sister, Allison. She'd reportedly been fighting a long battle with substance addiction, and at the time of her passing, she and Mariah were in the middle of a million dollar lawsuit that Allison filed. She was suing her because she claimed that her younger sibling had made false allegations about her in her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey. The Life and Style insider alleged that the two hadn't seen each other in decades. They supposedly had a very complicated relationship, and in some ways, that made the loss even harder because a lot of feelings had come up which Mariah wasn't expecting. They went on to claim that everyone was focused on how guilty Mariah should feel, but there's been a tremendous amount of sorrow over what might have been if her sister hadn't got addicted to substances. Obviously, it's been a super emotional and challenging time for Mariah, and you want to know who's reportedly really been there by her side? Her ex-husband. The source said that Nick knew what a struggle it was for her to walk away from the relationship with her sister and do the tough love thing, and he knew how much she relied on her mother, so he rushed in to offer his support. The insider went on to claim that he'd been offering to help her in any way he could and calling every day to check on her. Apparently, she's forever grateful for how he stepped up. So, like I said, maybe Nick sometimes talks a big game in public, but in this case, it looks like he's actually making a big effort to prove just how much Mariah means to him. And I wonder if it will change the way she feels about him. It seems like his actions have influenced the opinions of some of the folk in Mariah's inner circle, and they're questioning if she should reconsider their future together. 
According to Life and Styles insider, Nick may joke about them getting back together. And although it's not a very likely scenario, a lot of people in Mariah's life think that she should consider it. They're apparently very compatible and still have a very loving relationship. And those around them think that she could do a lot worse than taking him back. I have a feeling that Nick knows what he lost when he and Mariah ended things. And he's not ashamed to admit it. Sports Kida reported that he gushed about how special his marriage to the famous singer was when he went on an episode of the podcast, The Hot Tea Talk Show. He confessed, I will never have a love like I had with Mariah. It was literally like a fairy tale with Mariah, so I would rather it just be that way. But he went on to allege that the risk of them getting back together would be that it could end up ruining the fantasy of how perfect it had been. He added that if he had the opportunity and if it could be the way that it was between them, then he would take it. On a different podcast, Nick once again sang Mariah's praises and talked about the lengths he was willing to go for her. In an episode of the Diary of a CEO podcast, he described her as the perfect helpmate, the perfect matriarch, the perfect mom, the perfect wife in those scenarios. And he explained that even at the time of the interview, he would still do anything for her. I went hard for her and will still go hard. I lay down my life for her today. According to Stylecaster, Mariah opened up about what she thought were the reasons for their divorce. She explained that their marriage started to dissolve once they had the twins. She said that making the necessary adult adjustments to being working parents in the entertainment took its toll on their relationship and the end of their marriage came fast. She also claimed that they could have worked things out between them, but egos and emotions got inflamed and it was tough. Anyway, what do you guys think? Is there any chance that Nick still has a shot with Mariah? Do you think that if they did get back together, they'd be able to work past the issues that affected their marriage? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.